I mean, the Crocs are the fashion statement we all need. Yeah. It's yeah. excellent. That, that's what I think. But, like, my manager, she was just like, when I first walked in the, um, the podium training or something, she was just like, what the f are you are you wearing? Just like, well, that's me. Like, well, you know, Italy has adopted blue, yeah. and the Netherlands have adopted orange, so maybe Canada, Canada maybe can yellow? adopt yellow? Maybe. Maybe? Maybe. 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 We don't know. So overall, you've had a great world championship. So you're the first person to make a vault final since... Kyle Schufeld. Schufeld. And I just yeah. did an interview with him. Kyle Schufeld. Kyle Schufeld. You're the first person who made the rings final as a Canadian. Yeah. What have you taken away that has been really positive and what are you looking forward to the future to get on the podium? Um, actually, I wasn't supposed to do all around. I just made the history with the best place all around at the world championship. I was the first Canadian to make... Uh, rings final, like you said, uh, and first Canadian to make full final, as you said, uh, since 20, 2004 with Kyle Schufeld. Uh, and one month ago, I was not feeling great, it was a really hard time for me. Uh, so really, like, you can't step up. Like, that's my mind thing right now. It's you can't step up in a really short time if you have the right mindset and if you have the the, the right people around you. I'm really grateful for the people around me, my close, my family, my friends. Uh, and all my team around me, they really step up their game to make me where I am here now today. And I'm really, really happy of what I just did. Like, it, it was really tiring, but I was so happy to be there, out there, every single day of this World Championship. I know leading up in 2018 and 2019 and 2020, you were kind of plagued with injuries. How is your body feeling now? Um, it is great. Like, 2018, I really kind of did a lot of injuries and I finished with my shoulder surgery and I kind of realized that I had to change my training to not react after the, sur the, the injuries, but like be prepared to just not be injured at the most. Um, and yeah, since then, since that mind mindset shift, I've, I haven't been injured and I'm really, really like I'm healthy, like really much. So the vault that you did today, it looked like you were having trouble getting some pop off the top, which we have seen really throughout these championships. Can you talk about this vault compared to the vault that you train at at home? Um, I'm training on a speed vault and it's way softer than this one. Uh, but seriously, it just, it, it is just fatigue. Like it's my fourth day of comp in five days in a row. Uh, and I didn't like I was putting all the energy I could and the mental energy was there and I really want to make that vault but the legs were not moving as as quite fast as they could uh, so yeah we just like a little bit fatigued out there but the vault the equipment was great like we we, we got used to it we've been training on that for a week now so it's not an excuse about the equipment just like I was a little bit tired that's it and looking forward to next year, what are some goals that you have? Do you have any upgrades planned that you can tell us about? Yeah. Um, actually, I'm trying to upgrade a little bit my P-bar and my high bar routine and pommel, of course. Uh, I'm really great on rings, floor, and vault. Uh, but the, the other three events are a little bit weak. I'm super nice to, to look at, but there's missing a little bit on the discourse, so I will try to upgrade on, uh, on those events. And for next comp, next year, I will be trying to compete at the FISU Games and the uh, Commonwealth Games, that the two main events of the year. Uh, I will be really, really happy if I, I can make it, and it will be an awesome experience. Like, I'm just thrilled about it. Excellent. Best of luck. Thank you. My earliest memories are just tumbling like a crazy kid on tumble track. <laughs> tumble track has been a part like of our family and our gymnastics and our gym for as long as I can remember. It's, it's been amazing, it's been so fun, and I just, I hope I can inspire more people to get out and go after their goals.